Welcome back to How to Build an F-14 Tomcat. Well, after I posted that last video, I uh, had a little bit of a light bulb on in the brain moment and realized that the way I was planning to mold that nose cone was not going to work for uh, a couple of, a number of reasons. One is I was trying to be easy about it and make a little bit less work for myself by just doing it one piece instead of two. Um, which would typically work out, but as I uh, got to thinking about it after I posted that video, the fiberglass at the very tip of the nose cone is going to have a really hard time uh, conforming to the tip of it. So basically what I did is after I posted that last video, I put uh, two layers of four ounce, two ounce cloth on the nose cone. Like you see, let me zoom back out here. See, there's the beginning of the nose cone mold, and uh, basically I just let that sit overnight for a couple hours, and then I pulled the parting planes off the, pulled the whole nose cone, the surface resin, and the wet, the whole layup off of it, off those parting planes, and then I just cut down through the, uh, through the epoxy and cotton flock fillet at the base of it with a, just a regular zona saw, such as that. And then I just took a number 11 X-Acto knife and just scored down the whole length of it from that cut all the way down. And then basically we just cracked it like an egg. So that's basically what you get if, when I did that is what the mold would have looked like if it would have worked out. Um, before, I, before I did all this, I tried to pull the twist the nose cone out of it a little bit and it just wasn't having I just wasn't having any luck getting that nose cone out so if that would have worked I probably would have just sprayed PVA back in there popped the nose cone back in and kept doing the layup and then just uh, did like a big blob of uh, um, epoxy or, and cotton flock and just built it up to where the, the fiberglass would have conformed around it but it didn't work so this is what I get even this little bit I mean before I cut it I mean, when you put it back together it's really strong even with two ounces of just cloth on there so that tells me that just the shape of it puts a tremendous amount of strength into that that mold layup so i probably will only do oh probably three layers of two ounce cloth and three layers two or three layers of six ounce and then one layer of the really heavy 18 ounce stuff so there's no no point wasting material if it's extremely strong even with just two layers of four ounce cloth so uh basically trash for that and what I've done is basically did a whole nother layup or a whole nother parting plane and you can see I've cut the nose cone in half so uh, I'll lay up one half of it this is already waxed ready to be sprayed with PVA and uh, it'll be ready to be molded later tonight but before going through and molding all that up I want to get this uh, this windscreen mold off and then I want to split the the canopy mold off its part in place as well that way I can go ahead and lay up the the vacuum form plug for the windscreen and I can get the second part of the the canopy mold laid up tonight as well so um, that white parting plane board on the back of that windscreen is just held in by hot glue you can see the hot glue here the fiberglass decking, or the balsa decking has been fiberglass that's extremely smooth, so I'm just going to take a regular flat razor blade and just run up under between the two and cut that hot glue off of the deck.
So I figured showing you guys all the good and the bad of doing this stuff will help you learn and not make mistakes and learn from them. That one I kind of expected that to happen, but I was hoping it wouldn't. So I was, but oh well. <laughs> Peel that back off. Now I'll work up under here and try and pull this clay dam out as much as possible. There we go. It was uh, one there. So I mean, you can see the the clay did exactly what I wanted it to, and it kept the epoxy from running away from it. So it's just a matter now of just cleaning this one up. And what I'll do is, uh, since this is going to be just a, a mold to make the the windscreen plug to get the vacuum formed clear part pulled off of, I'll clean this up really well and I'll wax it PVA it just like you would with any other mold and then I'm gonna lay another I'm gonna do it just like I would with the regular mold I'm gonna put PVA in or uh, the surface coat a couple of pieces of a uh, four ounce cloth and basically I'm just gonna do another mold on the inside of it that way it's really nice and strong and then I'm gonna put a couple pieces of balsa wood in there that way the vacuum former won't suck it uh, suck it down too hard and make it collapse so there we've got the windscreen put this clay back in a bag and I'll move the video camera and you guys can uh, we'll pull that canopy mold apart I did have one little piece of uh, pillar come off the windscreen there, right at the at the back of it, right here. You probably be able to see it in the video. Yeah, you just barely see it, but um, that's gonna be covered with a litho plate frame anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll fill it with a little bit of red uh, bondo filler and sand it down a little bit. And then put the litho plate frame around it and all. So that's basically the biggest thing that was holding me back in getting the getting the rest of the fuselage detailed other than that back section. So now that that is done, I can get that canopy and windscreen area detailed and we'll uh Be at the point where we'll, the fuselage will be pretty dang close to getting ready to be molded. So again with this thing I've got a, a lot of hot glue here in the back holding it together. I'm just going to go with a, that same razor blade, or in this case a utility knife. And just cut through the hot glue. layup on these I did three layers of two ounce three layers of six ounce and 
what it was three or four layers of the the 18 ounce. Popping sound you're hearing is the uh, those little hot glue dollops I told you I put on. It's just peeling the instead of fiberglass and that balsa back plate, I just sealed it with a with epoxy that was thinned down, and it was actually pulling the epoxy off. So I have to I have to fix that before I can mold it. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take this zona saw, I'm just gonna run down through there, kinda weaken that hot glue a little bit. And I have to take this phone call, so we'll continue this video here in a bit.